So, this is a deck that my friend made, and I think it's pretty funny. I think it can unexpectedly win out of nowhere, which is really fun. <laughs> now, the whole point of the deck is to just put stuff on my opponent's side so they can't play. Now, how we do this is we play debris, we play rocks on both sides, and then we give, we give them whatever. We play Viper, we just chuck it over their side, we don't care. And once it gets to the point where they have so much stuff on their side of the board, we just play Hazmat, we can Carnage to eat all our rocks away. It's just, it's a fun deck. So, let's try it out, shall we? I am rank 81, so I really hope that my opponents go easy on me with this new deck. <laughs> okay, so, basically we're not doing anything for the first, the first two turns. I don't like playing Viper if I don't have a target as well. Okay, ninjas are fine because we can eat them with Carnage. Or I should have just like donated it with Viper, but he could have probably easily killed it. Daredevil. Okay, so he's going to know what I'm doing on turn 5. That's fine. Now, I think up next we go... We go Green Goblin. We just give him a minus 3. I don't see why not. Ooh, perfect. He filled it up. And armor, so we can't get rid of it. That's fine with me. Now, that's the reason we have hazmat as well, because we can literally just go minus four to all of them. Uh, what should we do next? Let's go Black Widow, Ant-Man. Because I'm pretty sure... Uh, Lizard, that's fine. I'm thinking this is a Spectrum deck. Okay, so... He's probably got Professor X, which means, no matter what, I lose the middle lane or the right lane. So would I rather... Okay, so here's what we do. I want to play Gamora. I feel like playing Gamora is the right play, but... Playing a card here, which will destroy his Lizard and his Ant-Man, is very good as well. So we just go... we go Viper Goose. And then he plays, so it's a 3 here, it's a 2 here, which screws up his Professor X. He also didn't play the, the zero drop. He hasn't played the bite yet. So he's probably going to have to play it, otherwise he just doesn't draw any cards. Sunspot and armor are both 3s. Because Monster Metropolis is buffing it too high. So if I play Gamora on the left, I literally just win that location. Okay, Claw's fine, and Widow's Bite. So I'm winning in the middle. I'm winning in the middle, losing on the right. So he's probably going to play Spectrum here. He's probably going to play Spectrum here, which means... Everything's going to get plus two. So Armor will go up plus two. Which will be 5, so Gamora just wins me here. Is that right? Oh, no, okay, cool, he left. Victory. So if he played Spectrum here, he would have like buffed up 3 of his creatures, probably won the middle. Yeah, I needed to think about that a little bit more. I don't know if I would have won that. I think the funniest thing I've ever done with this deck is uh, play Sinister London. Like, I've had a location for Sinister London, so whenever you play a card there, it, you get a copy to another location. I think that's so funny. And I played Debris on Sinister London, so I got rocks in either side, then Sinister London went up, and then chucked rocks everywhere. Which I thought was very funny. We can Debris and just see what happens. Let's Debris. Oh, okay. If he... There's a chance we could just win here, right? Because debris zero, and then we just wait. We're gonna fill up both locations with debris. Is there a way we win this? Yeah, I think so. Cards here are plus five power. That doesn't matter. So debris in the middle. We we'll fill up all the locations. Groot is fine because we're. Bro, okay, yo, debris. Fill up the locations, and then we literally just pass the next couple of turns. I should have snapped. Dang it. I gotta think about it before I do stuff. Now, he is up by 8 in the middle, but it doesn't matter, because I can literally just end the turn, Sunspot gets 4 power, 
and then I win in the next six turns. <laughs> God damn it, I should have snapped earlier. He wasn't expecting that. Yep. And I was just going on about Sinister London, how it's really fun to drop debris there. <laughs> Destroy it to get plus two energy next turn. Okay. So, I don't think we can win that location. I don't think we have anything besides the rocks. Um, goose. Let's just take the extra two energy. I don't know what we're going to use it for, but we're going to have five energy on turn three. Green Goblin. <laughs> and then Ant-Man. Oh, no, 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 no. Green Goblin, Black Widow. Because he's going to keep getting... Uh, I don't like giving them the bite, though. That's fine. That's fine. We'll see how well it does. So he's going to get the bite, but then he's just going to dump the bite in the Altar of Death. Which is okay. It's fine. Now let's go Green Goblin again. Let's fill it up. And then we just go Ant-Man? No, we go Ant-Man on the left, because we need the energy next turn. Oh, whoa. He's getting six energy next turn. Widow's Bite, that's fine. I don't know what he's going to do, so we'll see. But he's getting seven energy next turn. Killmonger does nothing. So he is on 12 energy right now. Yikes. Okay, so I think what we do is we play Green Goblin and Debris. Debris will add a rock to this side, which allows Carnage to eat it. And if he doesn't play in Cloning Vats, that's good for us, because we can just fill it up, and we win that location. He's got 12 energy. He could probably play every card in his hand. Okay, he's only choosing three. Green Goblin and Debris. Okay, he's going to Carnage everything away, which is frustrating. Death. Okay, and Null. Yikes. Null's only two? What the heck? Okay, how do we win this? How do we win this? Carnage is eight, which means we need to dump a two drop there. That will tie the right location. But then also buff up Null. I don't think we can win this. Unless... He seems pretty sure he's going to win. If I kill death, Null gets bigger. <laughs> so that's very frustrating. I think there is a line here, but I don't know. I think the line is Hazmat, Black Widow, Carnage, which will drop Carnage to 7, win me the right location. Then he goes up by 2 anyway. I don't think there's anything here. No, you gotta learn to what you gotta learn when to retreat and when to stay in, and that was definitely a retreat. Death and Null is like actually a really good combo, because <laughs> you can't play, because you can't kill Death because Null will just get the power anyway. Oh, welcome back. All right, so we know what deck he's playing at least. He probably doesn't know what deck we're playing because none of this makes sense. Start of turn six, swap hands. It's fine with me. I got nothing to do on turn six anyway. I don't have any six drops. Oh, we just end the turn and Sunspot gets bigger. That's probably a better play. Ah, no, that's fine with me. I can eat that Green Goblin. <laughs> Even better, I'll give it back. <laughs> so I think next turn is turn 5. We do need to use Carnage. Because I don't want him to eat the Green Goblin. Okay, what are you playing? <laughs> Take it back. <laughs> Alright, Armor protects my Sunspot. Vibranium and Psylocke. Okay, so he's going to have an extra energy next turn. Okay. So we go Carnage, and then just Vibranium in the middle. Vibranium on the right. Yeah, and then Sunspot goes off by two. So Shang-Chi and Gamora don't matter, because none of my cards are nine or greater. And Gamora is like, okay. But you need to predict what I'm doing. He's dropping three cards, okay. Carnage eats the Green Goblin. Okay, that's fine. I was going to do that anyway. Vibranium. And then kill Mungo to kill all the one drops, which doesn't work. Okay. So I'm in the lead. I do have priority. What have you got? 
Wow. Okay. You've sort of got a useless hand here, my man. Okay, so I know we can't play all the cards in his hand. I don't think we win this, okay? Because he's got Gamora, and I'm pretty sure he's going to draw a Vibranium as well. He's got nine cards in the deck, so there's a pretty high chance he drew a Vibranium. So he can play Gamora and a Vibranium and win two locations. I think I'm going to say no. I think I'm just going to fist bump him and just retreat. Yeah, I don't know if I had that. Alright, just drop Sunspot. Squirrel Girl, okay. The only reason you play Squirrel Girl is if you're in a 1-1 one -one deck, or you're playing Carnage. Okay, let's drop Ant-Man. <laughs> uh, Green Goblin in the middle as well. Shocker, okay. So he's in a... Holy cow. Okay, there's... Yipe. Okay. I'll I'll be fine with that. <clears throat> He's in a Kazar a Patriot deck is the word I'm looking for. That's okay. Turn four. Is there any way I can beat this? So if I lose the middle location. Okay, let's play the, the long game here. If I lose the middle, he's going to play something in the middle to try and get it, which is probably going to be Mystique or something. But if I go Debris, I fill up the other two locations. So he only gets to play one more card. Okay, Mystique is fine. So Debris, I fill up the other two locations. So he's only got one left. So, turn five means he probably plays Blue Marvel. Yeah, Blue Marvel would... I'm going to try and predict... Yep, okay. Oh my god, your decks are so predictable. Jeez. Let's see... Okay, let's see if we can do this. We win the middle. Now we need to somehow win the left. Do we just play Hazmat here? Does Hazmat win us the left-hand side? Eight. Seven. So we do win. If I just play Hazmat on the left, we just win. Because he's got four in the middle. Yeah. Okay, yeah, he left. So yeah, we would have won that. Whew. Man, filling up your opponent's locations is just... It's too powerful. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Yes, that is a spelling mistake. I will see you guys in the next episode. If you want, to, if you want me to play a specific deck, make sure to let me know. I'm more than happy to try it out. But until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.